is a completely gamble. I agree with her. So there's $10. Depends on getting trouble. Lessons. Stop it. Get some help. What's up guys, Steven Ducks here. Uh, welcome to my new video lessons of the week. And today I want to talk about there's lots of manipulations in the market. And I want to go over some of the key factors how they do it. And according to my analysis from this market. So uh, let's go over a couple. Uh, there's many, many things now and to go over. AWX, um, MTSL, GBR. So those three tickers are basically manipulated by the same guy. And he basically bought the entire float because all of those three tickers are micro float. If you bought the entire flow, then there's two, three hundred k naked shorts, and they basically they're stepping on each other uh, of this one guy that have all the shares. That's why <laughs> all the crazy squeezes happened. Uh, something like break the historical volume, uh, trading more volume than used to, and massive supernova comes in. Then if he decide to dump, all the chasers lost money. So all retail traders lost money. I would say GBR, MTSL, now AWX. And I mentioned that there's a couple key factors that, especially on GBR, because since it's a micro flow, if the flow start rotating, the individual resistance does not apply to super, super micro flow. If they rotate for 10 times, 5 times, it can be really dangerous for the stock breaks the priori high. And GBR did exactly the same thing. And yes, there is a volume block, but that is a chance for these big guys to size in into that volume block. Once the resistance breaks, they can have a massive short squeeze, then they can sell into the strength. So that is the danger of shorting multiple rotate floating stocks and if they're super micro flow. And that is one of the factors individual resistance does not work in this one specific situation. They all did the same thing. I think MTSL did the same method, micro float, start flow rotation, break the priority high, went all the way to six and dumped it all the way down and also dumped it on the dip buyers. Uh, people lost a lot of mon money on those two tickers. AWX as well, they uh, pretend they did a momentum shift into the eighth, dropped to the six, had a Friday afternoon squeeze all the way to $36. Uh, as you can see, AWX did not trade that much volume because in the recent market, the regular volume is right about 20 million to 30 million on all the tickers. And AWX did not trade that much volume. And the panic volume is not that big. So it is very easy to manipulate. Since the volume is so low, it doesn't take that much money or it doesn't take that much shares to buy to break this resistance zone. And that's exactly where it happened. People were sizing in the correct timing. They know where short sellers wants to short and they soak into that volume, then they squeeze them out of the gate. AWX, GBR, MTSL took a lot of short sellers out of the game. I, I think I took a decent gain on GBR. I did not catch MTSL. I didn't even try to pretend to dip by it. Uh, nothing's completely dead, fully manipulation. AWX, I didn't, I found shares to short, but there's nothing for me to short on. At least GBR has some kind of volume or resistance for me to risk off. AWX is all super thin volume, uh, no resistance at all, just pure dumping, pure manipulations, and just massive selling off. You, you can't really guess if they're selling or not because there's if there's no resistance, they don't have attempt to either sell or hold because uh, if there is a resistance, It'll be really hard, it will take extra money to make them manipulate to higher highs. But in AWX, what happens it goes to 50, what happens it goes to 90? You can't really predict if there is no resistance zones at all. Uh, they can choose not to sell, they can choose to sell. So shorting yesterday on AWX, it is a completely gamble. But if you shorted it, you're lucky and you own 50% of your entire uh, investment and today their sound looks like they keep setting off same thing with HMNY uh, HMNY is a little bit different company ran out of money and massive downtrend and they're probably going to do another reverse splits again to keep setting off but the key is if you see the consistent downtrend 
for a while, when it starts to squeeze, that is become the massive disasters for short sellers because you can't you can't really find a volume block or any resistance in the chart. Yes, it might be in the sevens or in the tens, but there's no really volume traded. Look at the volume traded right here, 2.4 million. Volume traded here, nothing. If there's no volume, that means there's not much people who are holding the stock, which means when the squeeze happens, it's gonna squeeze a lot higher than we think. Now, same thing happened on LFIN, DRYS. So be a short seller, don't be too aggressive. Once you become too aggressive, you get into that habit that just keep shorting and keep shorting. Then eventually you're gonna meet one of the those, either LFIN or DRYS, massive squeeze and took you out of the game. So if there's no pattern, don't trade, even though you know you're going to win, but in a long run, you're practicing bad habits. If you have bad habits in the stock market, you will lose, you will eventually lose. It doesn't matter how much money you win, but you're gonna meet that one specific and you're gonna lose your money. So trade something with the edge. Don't trade something based on luck or based on what you think because that doesn't really apply to the stock market. If you want to invest into this game for a long run, so that is my thought process on um, HMY, AWX, and uh, MTSL. Also, on GBR, in my opinion, I think it's sizing into that volume block around $3, sizing some in the 5 or 6, and sold into the 10. So I think they made around $5 million on that one specific dump. AWX, I don't really know how much they made, but I would guess they start selling into the 15. Their average probably around I'll say one volume block right here, one block right here, so three, four, five. So their average is probably around $5 or $6 selling to the 15s. Uh, yesterday there is not much volume, so probably average so will be uh, around 10. Then if they have too many shares, they probably made $10 million or eight, uh, eight to $10 million on AWX. Plus MTSL, probably they made around $20 million, roughly, uh, all those manipulations. That is just my personal guess. Uh, well, depends on filing on tomorrow. Let's see if I'm right. Other than that, please be careful in this market. There's too much manipulation going on. I'm sure this guy will eventually get caught and personally manipulating the stock. That company has no aware of this guy manipulating it. So eventually he'll get in trouble, but as a retail trader, they are not going to give their money back. So as a retail trader, you have to be extra careful to be able to survive in this market. And I hope this lesson helps. If you made money, great, congratulations. If you lost money, take this as a lesson. And I'll be seeing you guys next video lesson. Thank you very much. And you guys have a great day.